Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chronicles of the Range Monkey. Neil and Natalie. Hi. Gonna work on some movement today. I use Thrum targets on the range for all the benefits of steel with none of the drawbacks. They're made in the USA too. Pick up a set to make your shooting more fun and effective. All right, so Natalie, we at the national conference, you got to spend a little bit of time with Riley Bowman, mm -hmm. who's a very high level competitive shooter. Yep. And you took his intro to competitive shooting and, uh, uh, and then you actually got to do some stages and stuff. There'll be some video of that if there isn't already on the channel. Uh, that, that's coming for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, what were the challenges with some of that stuff? All of the moving, the walking and shooting. I haven't ever been super good at it, but I've always wanted to be pretty good at it. Okay. I just, you know, you don't have the opportunity to work on it very often, depending on what range you have. Yeah, that's, so. a, that's a big thing. And that, you know, here at our range, we get to kind of do what we yeah. want, right? As long as we're staying safe, <laughs> we do what we want. And so today we're gonna work on a little bit of movement. Today we're gonna just, we're gonna work from like 10 yards in, uh, just putting shots on target. We're gonna hit, use the ASP target down there and the A zone is the goal, uh, yeah. but we're gonna try to keep everything in there uh, from that perspective. Now there's a lot of different ways that people teach movement uh, and I am no expert. Again, mm -hmm. I am no expert in movement. Uh, if you've ever seen me move and shoot, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, I have an idea of what it is, but I don't work on it very much either. So we're gonna have some fun with this. Um, but a lot of folks will tell you to work, you know, to step heel to toe. So heel down and then toe and just walk smooth. So you're not popping the gun up and down as you walk, okay. you know, cause if you're walking like normal, the gun is gonna move. If you go heel to toe, that smooths everything out. Maybe a little bit of a break in your knees. Um, but honestly, what we see on videos, like, uh, you know, you see law enforcement shootings a lot where they're shooting and moving. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of those guys just walk like they walk too, because I think I think we, we go back to what we can do and what we normally do yeah. uh, when that happens. And so uh, for, the, for the most part, we're gonna try heel to toe, but we're still gonna just walk and shoot at whatever pace we can get our hits. And we're gonna test that today and see what happens. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we're not gonna do a beep or anything, no starting, any of that kind of stuff, just uh, at your, I'll, I'll say, you know, you're released to your task and then you just draw and, and put one on the A and then just start walking on in. Okay. Uh, and go, I mean, we're shooting at paper, so we don't have to worry about getting too close, but just uh, get a feel for it and see how that works, okay? okay. Now, here's the challenge. A lot of people, when they when, uh, the, because when we do this in classes, they start shooting and walking and all of this stuff, and then when they're done, they're like, oh, hey, that was really fun, and they turn around, so don't yeah. be that guy, okay? okay? <laughs> uh, but let's just be careful that that's, uh, that's the big thing when we get done. Safely holster back up, reload if you need to, or whatever you want to do when you get down there, okay? okay. Yep. All right, you're released to your task. Okay. Good. All right. I feel like I can't go much faster than that, but... Oh, I don't know. So everything was in the A except for one. Okay, so this time, let's draw and let's move. You're probably only gonna shoot four or five shots, but okay. move, move quickly. Okay. Okay? Go ahead when you're ready. There you go. Okay. That felt like it got off to a weird start. So, uh, so you threw one in the delta right off the bat. Yeah. But so I were... need to see my first hit, take yeah. it, and then start going. Well, I mean that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. Maybe, but okay. so so put this in the context of a of a USPSA match or something. And again, I'm no expert. Um, I mean, I did one once, so technically I'm an expert. Right? <laughs> I did something once, but no. Uh, but in a lot, of, in a lot of those, uh, you're not going to draw, shoot, and then start moving. You're going to be moving and reloading and, and all of that stuff at the time. But okay. to begin with, yeah, draw, put one down there, and then start moving up on it. Now, what I noticed was you moved about as fast with the walking. You just pulled the trigger help uh, a lot faster. Okay. Okay. So okay. this time, walk faster. Okay. Okay. All right. And I want you to walk all the way up to the, where you're about a yard out. Okay. Sounds all right. Good. So shoot at whatever speed you see your dot, but get there quicker. Good. Right, okay. So everything's lot, still in. You moved a little bit more quickly. Okay. okay. So you should have a few left in the gun. Yes. Uh, a couple. Four. Okay, so let's do that one more time and get there, get up there as quick as you can. Okay. Good. 
Now, I see as you get closer, you really only have to point the gun at the target. You don't even have to use your sights. Yeah. Um, but we're going to do another one here in a minute. We're going to put up another target and we're going to go from a different, from a little bit of an angle at a distance. Okay. okay so Natalie, now I've got two targets set up. Um, this one's the new target. That's one that we used earlier for some, well, I used that the other day for something. But so what I'm going to do is as you start, you're going to shoot two into the A zone over there from right here. And then you're going to walk straight towards that one shooting at it. Uh, okay. and, and you're going to put four shots into that okay. as you're moving. Okay. I can do that. Yep. Okay. So draw and two shots into the A zone and then start walking and shoot four. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Just working on the movement and under, and, and a transition along the way. Um, don't shoot my camera down okay. there. Okay. <laughs> Helps Make when you sure have the gun's gun. loaded. Let me try that. Oh, no, go ahead and leave it out. Leave it out. Just go ahead and start right there. Because that's not, we're not working on draws. There you go. Let's draw. It's kind of weird with the angles. Yep. Now we're going to add a little bit of a different angle to it. So now you're going to shoot this one twice, and then you're going to keep the gun kind of down. So I don't want you aiming at any friendlies out there. So drop the gun down, step to here, and then move in on it. Okay. And then you're going to shoot, as you come around that corner, shoot four more into that one. Got okay. it. Okay. Now, if this was a competition, I think, and again, not an expert, I think you only shoot the white targets twice, but for we're, we're, we're not working on competitive stuff. We're working on moving and shooting. Yeah, we're just a dad and a daughter. Yeah, shooting. we're just having fun. So right. move to the end of that and okay. then shoot and then shoot four as you go in. Okay. Okay. Got it. And handle your gun. All right, go ahead when you're ready. There you go. Good. Muster up. All right. That felt cool. Okay. Yeah. Now this time do it fast. Okay. <laughs> okay. When you're ready. Uh, let me make sure that. Yep. Uh, all right. Ready? When you're ready, go. Good. All right. That one seems like it's just at a weird angle. I feel like I'm not getting it very You're good. You're not. <laughs> okay. Fair. All right. All right. Let's go one more time. All right. Go. There Ooh, you go. There we go. Now holster up. I think I got all of these You ones. did. You got all of them down there. Yep. All I don't right. know about that one, but those shots felt better. Okay. So now let's do something fun and see. I don't know. Because we're all about playing, right? Grab the timer. Uh, the timer? So while we are not competitive shooters yet, yet so what we're going to do is you're going to start here now we're at about six yards so at the beep you're going to draw put two into the a zone and then you got to move to here and then two more into that okay got okay. it do i walk keep walking you can't that? shoot till you're past here so we're we're pretending this is a wall okay yeah and then and you can come around and move towards it as quick as far as you want but you got to get your a zone hits okay got it all right are you ready all right yeah stand by Maybe stand by. Oh. There we go. There we go. I made two A zone hits. Let's do it one more time. Okay. All right. All right. And then I'm going to follow you. So okay. four shots into that. That's four a total of six. Do you have six left in the gun? Well, shoot. I'm running out quick. <laughs> I just feel the bunch Shooting is bags. fun. Shooting is fun. Two in the A and then... Four in that A. All right. Let's Stand do it. by. There. Holster up. 
658. 658, 658 that's 658 is where you have set the bar. Now I'm going to see if I can do it. Okay. Do I don't it. know. This is not competition. This no. Is, well, it's father-daughter competition. Don't so. be mean to me and my dad. <laughs> Shooter ready. Nice. All right. Four, two, three. All right, cool. Not bad. So if we were doing competition, we would set up more target stands and all that kind of stuff, which yeah. we can probably do on another video. But frankly, at some point we need to get like Tim Heron or Tyler Tharp or Riley Bowman or somebody to actually teach us how to do this. Yeah. But it's fun stuff. We don't get to do much movement and shooting. Yeah. Um, your hits are good when you're moving. Uh, you know, you know I, I threw a Charlie on, down there too. Mm -hmm. In competition, the Charlie, it's just less points. Yeah. Uh, I think the deltas are less point and misses or mics are bad. That's like down 10 points or something. I, yeah. I don't know the scoring stuff and I don't pretend to, and I'm not gonna pretend to be any kind of an expert at that stuff. Yeah. But if you have a chance to go do some movement, it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's something some we movement. should probably work on. Yeah. So it doesn't, they, you know, the no, at the end of the day, the numbers don't matter as much as going out and training and getting, you know, getting some experiences. And, and having stuff, fun you know, with it. And yep. having fun, yep. yep. Yeah, so if you have the opportunity to shoot a couple things and move around a little bit, you know, do it. But God forbid something cracks off at the grocery store, um, you know that you can move with a gun. And, yep. and you know that you can move you can move and shoot. Now, for the most part, what we see more people is stand and deliver shooting, so the move, stop and shoot. Yep. Um, but you know that that's also dependent on circumstance when you talk when you put it in a self de defense context. Yeah. So you know, just having the experience, knowing what you can do, what you can't do. If you were missing paper completely on that movement, that's a lesson, <laughs> right? Yep. Yep. Um, now you're hitting pretty good there, so the lesson is probably maybe you can pull the trigger faster, maybe you can walk a little faster, those kind of things. And that's where we have to go get a coach because yeah. I don't know, I, I don't pretend to be any kind of expert there, and I don't want anybody to think that I think I am because I'm not. <laughs> um, I'm a I'm I'm not a great shooter when it comes to this kind of stuff. <laughs> I want to do more of it. I've done one of them and it's a blast. Yeah. But yeah. um yeah. Awesome. And so, you know, when you've done Riley's thing, so you saw yeah. there's way more targets. There but, is a lot to think yeah. about, you know, and you do have to count and you know, when I was doing the Riley Bowman uh class, there was just there were so many little rules that you have to learn and you have to follow and if you don't follow them, you know, you get a way lower score and there's a lot of there's just a lot of cognitive loads. It, yeah, a it's lot a, of, you there's know, a you lot can, of mental stuff to you can only shoot this colored target through this window and you know stuff yeah. like that and it gets really intense and it gets to be a lot of fun it is it is so you can so. see why people love to do it i can yeah all right good shooting right, kid yeah. we'll see you next week see ya